Welcome to this tech tip showing the installation and first launch of EdgeCam 2015 R1. This tech tip is intended for the user that has a previous recent version of EdgeCam and is updating to the 2015 R1 version. After downloading the DVD image, extracting the contents, and opening the starthere.hda file, you will have the installation navigation screen shown here. We suggest that before installing you should refer to the installation guide for complete information on the software installation. The prepare section provides the installation guide and also documentation on what's new. In the server installation section, the Sentinel RMS license server option is provided for installations where the EdgeCam workstations obtain licenses from another computer located on the network. EdgeCam 2014 R1 provided an upgrade to the version 8.5.3 Sentinel RMS license server. If you skipped that update, we recommend completing this upgrade to your company's EdgeCam network license server. The SQL Tool Store option is provided for deployments where the database is hosted from a server. If this is how your company deploys the database, this installation should be done prior to installing EdgeCam on the user workstations. We will cover this in more detail at the end of the workstation installation. The Install section offers the options for the user workstation. This explanation will focus on the EdgeCam install. The process is very straightforward. Once you select the EdgeCam option in the Install section, it launches the installer, which guides you through the installation process. Select the language and then begin the setup. First we have the license agreement. Once you have read the license agreement and accepted it, the next prompt is for the path to install to. The default path is usually appropriate. Next is the choice of a typical or custom installation. The live job reports, part modeler, and CAD links are all installed as part of a typical EdgeCam installation. You can use the custom option if you wish to select the EdgeCam software applications to install. Next is the program group to be created with the default suggestion provided. Next is the selection of the default units and environment to use when launching EdgeCam. Next is a summary screen, and when you're satisfied that the information is correct, the installation begins. When installation is complete, you have the Finish button, and also notice that What's New is checked. We suggest browsing through What's New to become familiar with the changes and new technology in this release. You can also get to What's New from the splash screen and any time from the EdgeCam Help menu. The other options in the Install section are optional. As noted previously, the Live Job Reports, Part Modeler, and CAD Links are installed automatically as part of a typical EdgeCam installation. These install screen options are provided for users that wish to install these things separately. This may be desirable on a computer that uses these peripheral applications but is not used as an EdgeCam workstation. EdgeCam is the first CAM platform to integrate Sandvik Coromont's Advion Tool Library. The Advion Tool Library is based on the Cutting Tool Data Standard ISO 13399 and makes it easy to create and export assemblies to your CAM or simulation software. I'd like to point out the Browse Installation Folder option right above Exit. This opens Windows Explorer and browses the DVD contents Notice the Installation Removal Tool folder. This contains a utility to help easily remove this EdgeCam version from the workstation, if that should ever be necessary. You have full control over the process, including ability to do a clean uninstall where all files and Windows Registry entries are removed. When the installation is complete, notice the EdgeCam Launcher 2015 R1 shortcut that has been placed on the desktop. The launcher provides central access to all EdgeCam software items including workflow, recently used files, the tool store database, and other related software applications. Longtime users that are still using classic EdgeCam interface should note that the shortcut is now in the tools area of the launcher. 
We're going to use Workflow and look at what happens the first time that you launch the new software version. You'll get a question asking if you wish to use the workstation's public documents folder. We suggest that you say no unless there are multiple EdgeCam users that each have their own login to the workstation. Example files and the folder structure where user data is stored are now copied to either the local My Documents, if no is selected, or the Public Documents folder, if yes was selected. Next we see the File Migration Wizard. This is a handy utility for copying your data from your previous version to the new version. You've probably configured the previous version the way you like it, and this utility will copy those settings to the new version automatically. Choose the items to copy, and then start the file migration wizard. Hover the mouse over any item for a description of what the option controls. Most users can leave the default suggestions checked, and then click install. The utility will now copy the user data to the new version, so that EdgeCam 2015 R1 looks as close as possible to how you had configured the previous version. Finally, we have a question about registering the software. If you've already done this with a previous version and are using the Vero Customer Portal and Customer Community Forums, you can skip this step. If you haven't done that yet, you may wish to take a moment to register. Congratulations! You're ready to begin using EdgeCam 2015 R1. This final segment is for customers that host the Toolstore database from a server. If your company doesn't do that, you can ignore the remainder of this tech tip. In this deployment scenario, there are typically multiple user workstations, which we will call clients. They all use a common database, which is installed on another computer, which we will call the database server. In this type of environment, the database server should be updated to the new version before installing EdgeCam on the clients. Step 1, working on the database server, complete the SQL Tool Store install option. Then step 2, still working on the database server, upgrade the database. We'll show that next. Once both are complete, you can proceed to perform the EdgeCam installations on the client workstations, as explained previously. We've just completed the install of the SQL Tool Store on the computer acting as the database server. We've gone to Start and All Programs and found the EdgeCam program group for the latest version and opened Tool Store Administrator. We can see there's a database with the red exclamation indicating that it's a database from a previous version. When I left click on it, we'll go to the Upgrade Database option in the management screen and we'll give this a new database a name. We suggest putting in an appendix that matches the version that this database is intended for. At the end of the upgrade process, we see the new database available as well as the old one. We're now ready to move out to the EdgeCam workstations and do a typical EdgeCam installation. At the end of those installations, we can connect them to the upgraded database on the database server.